Hi there, in this video we will learn about the national income equilibrium analysis but with a slight variation. The variation is that we have government expenditure which is not considered to be autonomous anymore. Instead it is basically a certain proportion or percentage of the national income. So this is the innovation that we will bring in this uh, analysis. The macroeconomic analysis with the proportion of government expenditure that is it is not autonomous anymore so keynesian model is considered the expenditure approach here only i naught is having this uh, not sign in the subscript because this is the only autonomous part c has its determination with the help of this equation and g also gets determined with the help of this equation and we have those parametric stipulations that we had before a is positive b is a fraction and g is also a fraction so it is definitely showing that if we have national income of a certain level a part of it will be spent as government expenditure that is 0.5 would imply 50 percent of the income 0.3 would imply 30 percent of the national income now we have the endogenous variables we already know that these are the endogenous variables which have the ability to get determined by the given system of equations now g is included in those endogenous variables previously it was exogenous variable like i naught but now it is endogenous t naught is also exo exogenous in this case i naught minus uh, i naught and t naught are the exogenous or autonomous variables these are the two behavioral equations once again and we know that uh, this is a kind of percentage that shows the percentage of government expenditure with respect to national income. So with the help of a ratio we can represent this. Now we have these, uh, uh, you know, the basic equation, the definitional equation in which I can substitute the values. So the value of C will be substituted as well as of capital G. Here we have the value of C, here we have the value of capital G. So this means that I0 is retained as it is because it is autonomous. Now we have to rearrange all the terms and definitely we would like to extract the value of Y which is the endogenous variable and other uh, terms are basically coefficients, parameters or exogenous variables that is T0 and I0 in this case. Taking y common out of all the terms that had y in them, we will get this term as a multiple of y and then y asterisk can be extracted. So this y asterisk basically representing that tax has a role to play, autonomous tax has a role to play in the determination of national income which is negatively related with the national income. Definitely tax brings some disincentive so for the producers and the consumers as the case may be because it can be relied on the producers or consumers or both so the negative relationship is definitely there showing a unfavorable effect of the tax i not the autonomous investment will have a favorable effect and then we have the denominator which is um, having parameters so there should be some parametric restrictions for it as well and because if this turns zero the answer will become undefined and undefined value of y status will not be economically meaningful so this should not be equal to zero the denominator that's what we have written here and if we shift b and g to the other side it becomes that one is not equal to b plus g in other words what we want to say is that the sum of b and g is not equal to one because if it is equal to one this term will become equal to one, 0 and this would imply that this will become undefined. So this is a kind of equation uh, which is showing that national income is now a function of investment, taxes and the proportion of the government expenditure spent. So this is how we can analyze the national income in a situation where we are considering the possibility of endogenous level of 
national government expenditure we can also determine it I, I can put this value of y asterisk this value here and once I do I will get the value of government expenditure at equilibrium which will be represented by g asterisk